Hello everyone. Right, so today I'm going to teach you how to do the trancy pluck sound from Chicane featuring Brian Adams, um, Don't Give Up. I've uh, recently discovered trance again and I'm really liking uh, some of the synth work that was um, sort of around 1999, 2000, that kind of era. Uh, this particular tune was number one in March of 2000 on the UK charts, a smash hit from Chicane and he got the vocal off Brian Adams. Now the bit I'm, I'm going to do is 2 minutes 27 into the track. Um, I shall show you that now. <laughs> So it comes in the breakdown in the second a minute and you'll hear the uh, sort of saw, sawtooth wave pluck, classic trance sound. So that's that sound. Now, I've used um, a free plugin I found online that's actually great for trance sounds and it's called T-Force Alpha Plus. Now what I'll do is I'll give a download link to the sound um, module, the VST, in a, uh, probably in the description of the video. But anyway, let's crack on and do this sound. Um, so, to show you how it sounds before as everything is done, I'll just show you how it sounds um, on here. So I'm just loading up one I've made earlier, Blue Peter styling. Right, so this is Chicane. Done once again on the T Force Alpha Plus plugin that's free to download online. Absolutely amazing for the trancy sounds. So let's go from the top and let's make this sound from scratch. Very, very easy to do this one, I must say. Um, it didn't take me long whatsoever. So, what I'll do is I'll load in the, uh, the score for Chicane that I've worked out and done myself. So, and uh, there. All right, so that, there's the score. What I'll do is I'll load in T Force Alpha Plus. When it actually loads in. And this sound shouldn't take any more than five minutes really. What I'm going to do is I'm going to load in a, a mixer state instance that I've already made for the effects um, for it and that's EQ'd and whatnot. Um, but basically I'm going to make the sound from scratch right now. So you've got this thing's got three oscillators um, and you only need one for this particular sound. So let's let's just play I'll initialize the patch first. So initialize Okay, and right, so the first thing you see on here is a sawtooth wave. You might not be able to see that actually. But the waveform you choose is just, it's on a sign at the moment. So if I just play, bring the tempo down to 130, and I'll just play you this. But we need to bring the octave up one, one as well to get the right sound. As you can hear, just playing the notes. So you put it on a square, a oh, sorry. So you put it on a, a, a saw, and then um, you don't need to do anything on these settings here. Um, you might want to just actually use a bit of stereo width. Um, I usually put it on about 50, but the rest of it you don't need to move. 
put the volume on full. Now the others need to be off because you don't want them on, you don't want the other oscillators on. And here's where the magic happens for the uh, for the plucky sound. Now what you want to do is you, mod you want to modulate the cutoff uh, envelope so that that's what is making it um, sound more like a plucked sound rather than a sustained held note. So you put the low pass filter on which is the first to the right so it's on off uh, initially and then you put LP um, then you put the the slope to 24 decibels not 12 so that's what, again one to the right and then you put the cut off to about 31 around 30 will do and uh, it should be sounding like this at the moment you can't really hear it actually because uh, it's all cut off as I've just said so, in the filter envelope section, which is right here, you, put, you leave the attack to zero, and you put the decay up to 57. This is just how I've done it. And you put the release up just slightly, we'll say about 12. And that is basically the sound, to be honest. Uh, it just needs a few effects now. Uh, the amp envelope as well could do with a bit of tweaking, so what we do is put the decay up to about 50, um, leave the sustain as it is, and just let the release uh, go to about 12. Um, so it's so that is the sound. Uh, in a raw state. Now it's got a great effects unit built into this VST and you use the dual delay and the, the reverb. It's also got a bit crusher, great for doing like your kind of bit crushed your, your kind of sounds. It's also got side chain effects and also on page one, because it's page one, one and two, it's actually got a transcape built into this thing as well, which is absolutely brilliant for like your, your, your sort of your, your trancey sounds. So um, yeah, We'll switch the delay on by clicking that button, and I use the, you might not be able to see, the 1, one slash 8, it's got loads of different uh, time, timings in here, 16th notes, 8th, 4th, half notes, I set, I set both of them, because you've got left and right here, time L, time R, that's time left and time right, and I put them both to 1 slash 8. Now the feedback uh, is dependent on how you want it to sound. Obviously, like the more delay you want, the more fe feedback of the delay you want to put into the mix. I leave it. I just um, I alter the mix on this. I don't actually alter the feedback from the initial setting. So you've got something like this at the moment. Just adding a bit of depth to it, you know. So put the reverb on, and this is where it really starts to sound really big, roomy, and and really trancy with a sort of euphoric edge to it. So I take that down just a tad, the, the size to 60 was initially on the 64 there, so that the width um, I put on full to give it a full stereo width. Uh, the damp I leave again and then it's just a case of altering the mix and I put it down to 10 because the reverb on this thing is very, very um, big sounding. So now you've got the sound. You can, you can sort of filter the, to, to make it open up more, you just basically, uh, you can automate the amount of, of the filter envelope, um, and uh, that's pretty much the sound. Um, so I'll just show you how this sounds without uh, so much of the amount on there. So. fiddle about with that. I'm just going to show you the last bit of the to making this sound. So um, on Fruit Loops or whatever your door is, you've got your, your mix output and I'm going to put it onto one. Um, I've already, as I say, I've already made this so I'm going to open it from my files and uh, I've called this 
chicane style pluck two. So now I've, what I've done on here is I've basically just I've compressed it because um, when you uh, use cut off, it kind of uh, depending on the resonance you use as well. Um, some part of the sound is louder than the others, so you need to put a compressor on that to bring it all the levels um, together. Then on the uh, EQ, I've just rolled off some of the, the real extreme lows. Um, and then the second EQ made some cuts and uh, a slight boost at about um, 2400k and uh, rolled off the extreme highs because I found there was like a high end uh, fizz on there that I did not want. I then used a soft clipper to sort of bring, uh, I don't know, a slight bit of distortion on there and also um, because the sound uh, needed a bit more boosting that way so I just uh, brought out some of the harmonics in the sound and um, lastly I've just done uh, a fruity stereo enhancer just to widen the sound to give it a bit more stereo depth and width and that is the sound so I'll play it one more time and then that'll be it uh, because I know my dad will be pissed off with me <laughs> so so I'll put it up to 60 like we said before uh, and uh, we'll just play this sound now in its full capacity <laughs> So that's that. That's that's the sh how to make the chicane transpluck in uh, the Brian Adams tune. Don't give up. <laughs>